Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I'm going to be talking about my cologne collection. Now, I recently got back into colognes about six months ago, so a lot of these colognes that I'm going to show you I have not put a big dent in. But when I do buy a cologne, I do a lot of research and I make sure I understand what I'm buying. So. Uh, to do that, really, you just need to look up what the base notes are, what you enjoy scent-wise, and what works with your chemistry, what fragrance notes works with your body. And um, basically, it's a lot of research and feedback from other people and what they've experienced with that certain fragrance. So a lot of what I have is uh, more classical style colognes. You're not going to see any Paco Roban 1 million or anything like that here. Um, most of these are going to be classical scents. So I'm going to try and go through these rather quickly, but the, I'm going to try to keep them a little bit organized. So I have what I usually wear um, off to my left here. So I'm going to grab um, these as I go. So let me see if I can reorientate these a little bit. So it's a little bit easier for me to grab and work with here. So let me see here. Okay, so the first one, uh, this group is really what I wear at night in the evenings or when I really want to relax. And um, th these I have found have been very nice. This is Mesmerized by Avon. And this has a wonderful fragrance. I can never really put my nose to it, but it's floral, woody. Not smoky, but it's very mysterious. It, it has a very interesting flavor to it, but I think it's a fantastic fragrance and it's very affordable. Then uh, after that, what I like to wear in the evening is Elizabeth Taylor's Passion for Men. Now this fragrance came out, I believe in the 80s, and this is a very nice fragrance, but I have some of the vintage, which I have decanted into this sprayer because the original bottle's atomizer was really bad. So the original is darker, richer. Um, it's almost like a nice, rich, caramelized plum with cinnamon and caramel, and, and it, it's a very rich fragrance. Now, when it comes to the uh, newer formulation, it, it, it has all that, but I think it has like a little bit of a tobacco note, and I'm not talking like burnt smoke. I'm talking about a little bit of a light tobacco leaf, but this is a fantastic one for under $20. It is a fantastic fragrance. So that's one other one that I like to wear. And then this next one is actually a women's perfume, but I really enjoy it, and that is Taboo. This is a very unisex fragrance, actually, and it's a very warm, spicy, um, uh, sensual fragrance and I find this to be a fantastic one to wear in a winter night now uh, this one came out in the 30s or I believe it was the 20s and it was marketed towards women and I find this to be a fantastic one for men right now because it's a warm ambery tobacco-y um, fragrance that is very rich you only need about two sprays of this to really make a um, notice of it so those are really what I enjoy in the evening. Now we're gonna kind of move over to the ones that I enjoy wearing in the summer. I'm gonna try and reorganize the ones I have on my right here. Um, so two here are the same. These are basically the equivalent of Polo Blue. And you can, as I'm going here, I'm putting the fragrance notes here. But these are both the same. These are basically copies of that. I just don't really feel like spending the money for original Polo Blue. But the classic match is much closer than the Racing Club. But this is a fresh, light, airy fragrance that is fantastic for the summer. Next, after that, I have of course, David off cool water. And give me a second here. Let me turn off that light in the back here. So David off cool water is a rich, salty, airy fragrance. And I find this one 
not to be a huge projector, but it's fantastic when you're at the beach. And um, and to be honest, I never smell it when I'm out, when I'm out on the beach because it's so windy. Uh, personally, you, you're going to smell this better when you're inside. Uh, the wind usually pulls this scent off of you before you can even smell it. But it's a very fresh, airy fragrance, and it's fantastic for the office. Now, uh, when it comes to my next grouping of stuff that I like to wear in the summer, um, this is kind of a mixed bag here because I really do like Dracar Noir. But I don't really feel like it's true to its original essence. So I have Dakar by Al Rehab and then the classic match equivalent of Dracar Noir. And then what else I also like to tie with that is um, Lamani Porom, which I have a new box here. The other bottle I have is actually at the office. And this is a wonderful one to wear in the office or if you feel like you, you kind of stink and you want to feel a little bit more freshened up. This one here is a fantastic shaving from a foam fragrance. Like I just smell shaving cream every time I use any of these, but the Dakar one is richer. It has a heavier moss fragrance to it. It's darker. It, it just smells better, I think. So if you're going to get any of these dupes, go with that one. Um, next for the summer, as I put all of these away, um, I do, now this is really not a summer fragrance. I'm not going to say this is a summer one. This is more of a winter, but I like it in summer because it's very rich. It's heavy is gray flannel. And this was one my dad, um, enjoyed wearing and I really enjoy wearing it, but I feel like it performs rather well in the summer. So that one's another really good one that I enjoy wearing. And then this one here, Tabak Original, this is a flory light fragrance. It's it's so wonderful. It's it's like shaving cream mixed with roses and um, a little bit of cedar and sandalwood thrown in there. It's a fantastic fragrance. So there is another one that I enjoy. And then here is this one. This is actually Canoe. Uh, this is Canoe. I've decanted it in here because the original bottle came in a splash form. But Canoe is very fresh, light. You would even say a barbershop scent. But it's very uh, powdery. But this is fantastic for the summer because it's not heavy, it's airy, and it's not going to overwhelm you. The next one is actually one of my personal favorites. And this is Giorgio Beverly Hills. Um, and this is uh, Giorgio Beverly Hills for him or for men. And this is a great, uh, great fragrance. Very grassy, very green, but still at the same time bright and airy. Next, and you can see that I've used that one quite a bit. Um, next one up is going to be Al Rehab's Brown Orchid. Now, uh, this one here is fantastic. Um, th this is from Fragrance World, okay? And this is a very rich, light, airy fragrance. It's in the vein of if you combined blue, um, cool water and polo blue. I think it's a fantastic fragrance in, and it's only about $10. So, and it's a heavy performer. It performs very well. And then this is another one from Al Rehab, and this is For Men. Now this one has been described as very medicinal. Um, I would say it's very, um, I would say barbershoppy. It smells like shaving foam with a little bit of mint, with a little airy saltiness to it. It's perfect for the summer or when you are just at home and want to smell clean and fresh. Next, I am going for um, a few others that I've been wearing this summer, and then I'll move to the stuff that I kind of enjoy in fall. And this is Brute. This is great for the summer. It's green. It's airy. It is, uh, I'm not going to say old-fashioned, but it does smell dated. But it's so fresh. It's it's clean. But this one does not very uh, last very long. I think this only lasts on me for about an hour and a half, then you have to reapply it. But I usually use this when I get out of the shower. So there's Brute, and then here over here is another one of my favorites, and this is 
Paul Sebastian Fine Cologne. And this one here, I've been using quite a bit, but this is a very fresh fragrance. Now this I would describe as a, a cleaner, longer lasting Pinwad Club Man um, aftershave frag fragrance, but it is uh, very airy, light, but still powerful. It's been around since the 70s and I love it. Now, um, I'm going to be moving over to what I usually wear in fall or what I usually wear in the winter time. So one is Jaguar for men. I've actually been wearing this this summer. Um, I, I don't use this too often, but this is fantastic. But I also picked up some vintage bottles and I decanted that into here. The vintage formulation is so rich, thick, heavy, green pine needle scent. Um, with a little bit of um, like almost car seat leather. Like I, I don't know how to describe that, but it has like a leather scent hidden in there and it is really fantastic. So I have that one. Then these are two um, really good fragrances. One here is Lord by Al Rehab. And this is basically a Kuros and I would probably say Ted Lapidus combination. I've only um, used Ted Lapidus, but this is very dirty, very rich, very heavy, floral. It's almost like sandalwood and, and um, oak wood mixed with flowers. It's very, very nice. This is a great fragrance. And then the next one here is Midnight Oud. And this one is another one from Al Rehab. And this here, oh, it's like amber mixed with floral, um, oh, white roses, I would say, with oud. And, and it's just a very good one. This one I recently got, but I've been wearing this this summer and it's been very nice, um, but it's great for uh, winter. Really, it performs during winter. And then after that, I have here Superman. So Superman is a copy of Giacomo di Giacomo. And this one here is very spicy, very ambery, very rich in its flavor. And it, it has a greenness, but there's like green, uh, uh, like red pepper in there with cinnamon and and spices it, it's a fantastic fragrance and and it's not expensive this is like ten dollars it's a very good performer so after that i have another very strong performer and i have not used this to use this a lot or at all because of how strong it is but it is bijan for men and this thing is just a pepper powerhouse it's almost like you took pepper vanilla oak moss and 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 spices and mixed this up into this fragrance it's a very good fragrance um this one here i don't use too much just because of how strong it is but honestly you only need two sprays of it next is going to be giorgio beverly hills for men red and this one here is fantastic it's a very warm rich fragrance um ambery i'm gonna say ambery but it's almost like it's a fiery amber the amber here really is on fire it, it is almost like if the color red had a scent this would be it then after that i have versace loam and this one here is a very almost it almost smells old manish like when i smelt this it smelled like my grandfather but it has a mossiness to it but with leather but like a distressed leather like a leather that has seen a few years of use it's a very rich fragrance but not a lot of people talk about this one this one here is a really good performer Next after that is one of my personal favorites and that is Aramis. This one here I've just been using like crazy and I have three backup bottles of this. This is a fantastic fragrance. Very rich, peppery, ambery, leathery, sandalwoody. I mean this is just classic. 
after that I have now this one here is one that my dad wore and it's Caswell Massey's green briar and this is a very green floral I, I would say floral sandalwoody fragrance but it's extremely classic after that this is a uh, one that I wear in the fall and winter but this is Corum Silver this is actually my second bottle and this one here not very many people talk about Corum Silver but this one here is like working in a cedar sawmill it's just cedar it's woody it's mossy it is it is rich it's thick but this one just doesn't last very long on me I get about five hours out of it and then I have to reapply but this is a great one for fall and for winter next one is the Corum original and this one I've actually been wearing quite a bit this summer it's a heavy fragrance but it's it's thick it's rich it's like almost a an, not in a bad way but a very rich tar um, wood moss fragrance it's very thick very heavy and this is a classic not a heavy hitter anymore but still a very good one this one is definitely one that I wear in winter and this is Bogart Pro Home and this is like a, a cherry tobacco uh, uh, fragrance it I, I can never really describe it but it is so rich it's strong this one lasts on me about eight to nine hours this is a very strong formulation and this one here is very rich it's it's thick it's got like a cherry fragrance but it really punches through the winter um, uh, months now for me I don't have very many um, weeks of winter honestly so I don't use a lot of my winter fragrances you can see I've only used a few sprays but this one here very rich very good and then after that one I have one man show oud edition and I only use one spray of this and it's very powerful this is a very strong wood fragrance it's it's almost overpowering for the first two hours if you use too much but it's very rich I, I think this would be great if you are in a very cold climate or if you really enjoy a woody fragrance and then I have the original one man show which is a piney green fragrance and this is probably one of my most used fragrances I mean you can see that I've used a lot of this and I have three extra bottles of this stuff so for me this is one of my favorites and I use it quite a bit now let me just double check here and then for me I bought this as a layering uh, fragrance but sometimes I will wear it by itself but this is tea rose now this is a women's perfume but this here is like freshly cut roses it is fantastic to throw on top of a nice wood fragrance where you want just a hint of sweetness to it and this one really fits the bill um, I have not used a lot of it you can see there there's quite a bit left but you only need one spray of this stuff because it is extremely overpowering very strong very noticeable and you you get the dew you get the the water you get the rose petal you get the stem you get the uh, you get the rich wet soil like in this the, the, it is so fantastic and it's only ten dollars for a hundred milliliters I mean this thing is um, for 120 milliliters actually so for this to be that cheap and that rich it is a great one now let me just double check here make sure I've gotten everything listed and talked about and yeah that's everything so that's my cologne collection I did this extremely quick because I really wanted to get under 20 minutes and I think I did that so if you have any questions oh I actually missed a few I missed two so I have bell cams bronze Jiu, and this is a copy of um, an Emporio Armani fragrance and this one's very sweet woody and ambery I forgot these two and then I also have Jovan Musk this is my third bottle I got this actually last week and this is just a rich musky fragrance I love it it's classic you can't go wrong
So that is literally everything. So I've gone through my entire collection in under 20 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions regarding any of these fragrances, just let me know down below. And um, if you have any favorites that I've shown off, let me know and I'll be more than happy to comment. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.